Model space and paper space are the different workspaces found in many CAD applications, including TurboCAD. Typically, drawing is done in model space. Then views are created, then inserted into paper space layouts. While there is only one model space, there can be multiple, sometimes even hundreds, of layouts. In this video, we will be going over how to create views in model space, then insert them into paper space. And if you would like to follow along, the drawing I will be using is available for download by following the URL found in this video's description. You can switch between the different spaces by clicking the tabs below the drawing area or in the Spaces section of the Design Director. If you switch to Layout A0, you will notice a white area on top of a gray background. The white area represents the sheet that the drawing will be placed on. The title block comes from the template that was originally used to start this drawing. You may also notice a dashed gray rectangle. This represents the printer paper. We can align the paper and sheet by right-clicking our layout, entering paper space properties, and changing the orientation to landscape. There we go. Now let's switch back to model space to create a view. Let's start out with a perspective view. Begin by switching to isometric southwest. Now go into camera properties and check perspective. Zoom out a bit and adjust the view. Now we can create a new view in the Views section of the Design Director. Let's name this view Perspective. We can now switch to Layout A0 and insert our viewport. Choose Viewport from the Views flyout of the Standard Toolbar. Now drag a rectangle, then choose Perspective. As you can see, the view we created has been inserted into the layout. In Wireframe, this perspective view is confusing to look at. Let's open the Properties dialog and switch to Hidden Line. We can also turn off the Viewport box by unchecking Visible Box and Viewport Properties. Now let's switch to Sheet A1. Notice that a view has already been inserted. Let's take a look at its properties. Under Viewport Properties, notice that some layers have been turned off, leaving only the ground floor. This layer set was generated when I created the view. Layers can also be toggled on and off in the Design Director or Layers dialog. Also notice that the scale is checked and set to 1 to 48. To see this scale in action, let's add a dimension. Choose the Parallel Dimension tool from the left side toolbar. Then activate Segment Dimensioning from the Local Menu or Inspector bar. Now click a segment in the viewport you would like to measure. Notice how the dimension displays 2 inches. That's the same size as the drawing is on paper. However, after I click to drop the dimension, the measurement is updated to reflect the size of the object as defined in model space. We can also insert additional views on the same sheet. Since the views are scaled instead of the sheet, they can have different scaling. For example, we could create a close-up of the bathroom. Let's start by choosing Viewport from the standard toolbar. Now draw a rectangle and choose Ground Floor. Next, open up the Viewport properties. Under Viewport, choose the Ground Floor layer set, then hit OK. We can adjust this view by choosing Floating Model Space from the Viewport submenu of the View menu, then using the regular camera controls to adjust the view. When you are finished, click outside the viewport to return to paper space. We can also change the shape of the viewport boundary by using a closed entity. First, draw a circle to contain your view. Next, choose Update Viewport Boundary from the standard toolbar. Now select the viewport, then the circle. Another way to insert elements of a drawing into paper space is through the drafting palette. While I do go over the drafting palette in greater detail in a different video, I will show a quick example here. First, switch to model space. Then select an entity you would like to send to paper space. I will select one of the roof beams. Now open the drafting palette and choose the front view and hit plus to add. Now switch to Layout A2. 
Next, click Insert into Drawing in the Drafting Palette. Uh-oh, what happened? Let's zoom to Extents to find out. Looks like the Drafting Palette object is giant. Let's select the Roof Beam and open up Properties to scale it down. Under Format, change the scale to 0.0208, which is the same as 1 to 48. And under Pen Visible, change the pen color to black. There we go, that looks just about right. I think that's about it for today. For more great videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have not already, download the latest version of TurboCAD from TurboCAD.com today.